This large and very heavy machine is the Mercedes Euclid Model 16. It was in production from 1927 until about 1934, but this is one of the earlier ones, around 1929 or so. It has a, a full keyboard. This is the first model to use these uh, modular sections. Each column uh, is a separate uh, part that can be easily replaced. And it has these uh, cubicle key tops with no gaps between them. And uh, this system was uh, used from, from this model on until the 1950s in all the other models. Um, it has a carriage with 16 digits in the main register, 8 digits in the counter. Uh, on the right here is a crank. This is not the original one, uh, it's been replaced at some point. The crank can go in the top like that or at the front here. But uh, yeah, it, it should look in place with this little catch, but this homemade version doesn't have the uh, the uh, ridge here to, to let it uh, catch, so I'll, I'll use it at the top like this. The uh, controls are now set for addition, so if I enter a number it is visible in this uh, display register down here. Unfortunately f some of the digits are missing. And if I now turn the crank it gets added to the main register and the counter is incremented. The input stays in the keyboard at the moment, but you can clear it by hand by pressing the L button like this. And uh, this button activates the automatic clearing. So if I, if I push this down and latch it, it will now uh, automatically clear the keyboard each time the addition is completed. So you can more easily add uh, a list of separate numbers. Uh, to subtract, you change the mode here. It's now on addition, but if you push this down, it's on subtraction. This is a set of radio buttons, essentially. So when you subtract, it uh, simply does it like that, but it's still incrementing the counter because the counter direction is set by this set of buttons. This increases the counter and this decreases the counter. So if I now subtract it should decrease the counter. Um, let's do a multiplication. Uh, to clear the main register you uh, push this lever to the right. To clear the counter, you move this lever to the left, and you can do both of those at the same time if you like. Let's multiply uh, 256 by itself. I'll shift the carriage two places to the right, so that we start on the, uh, the most significant digit of the multiplier. That needs to be a 2. So I turn the crank two times. And now I want to shift the carriage to the left. It's spring-loaded, so I can just push this button here and it'll move the carriage by itself. I've now entered the 5 in the next uh, digit. Shifting the carriage can be done with this button here. There's a, a similar button over on this side, but it's missing its uh, key top. And you can also use this tab at the front here, which is the same thing. So now I'll enter the last digit, the 6. And the result of 256 times 256 is 65,536. There's a very nice uh, decimal point system on this machine. You can see these small holes near the uh, input display register. There's one marker here, 
Uh, let me just move closer so you can see it better. One of those uh, holes has a little uh, metallic marker. And if I move this lever at the left, I can set where that marker is. And set it to where I want it to be. So I'll set it uh, after the 2, so it says 2.56. On this uh, counter there's also a pointer. I can set this uh, where I want. Say I'll also put this on 2.56. So if I multiply 2.56 by 2.56 I get 6.5536. The decimal marker in the product is automatically set correctly. It uh, shows through this little hole here. If I move the pointer in the uh, counter, it moves that output marker as well. Or if I move the, uh, the one on the input, it also moves that output marker. So that output marker is essentially the addition of the distances of the, the two decimal points of the two factors. So it automatically has the correct place in the product. This machine also does automatic division. Uh, so to do that you start with the carriage as far to the right as possible to give you as many decimal places as you want in the, uh, in the quotient. I'll, uh, I'll enter the dividend in the main register. I can just add something but you could also uh, just set it using these uh, knobs at the front. I've set it to 355. I'll divide that by 113, the usual division. And to start the division you have to set division mode which is this button here. You latch that down and it automatically sets these controls for uh, all the steps in the division. It also disables the uh, automatic clearing if you had that set. All I have to do now is turn the crank until it's finished. So if I start turning it will subtract until the uh, register underflows and then shift the carriage and change the controls so that it now starts um, adding and uh, decrementing the counter. And when it then uh, overflows, gets positive again, it shifts the carriage and changes the controls for the next digit. So the result is 3.1415929, uh, the nice approximation to pi. The serial number can be found right here. On this machine it's uh, 14,545, 14545. That same number can be found in many other places. Almost every part of this machine has that number on it somewhere. But on the outside, this is the easiest one to spot. To shift the carriage many places at the same time, to the left, you can use this button here. So that was the Mercedes Euclid Model 16. Thank you for watching.